They're both going for the black. Both going for the black skin. I mean, yeah, I know Connie's. I, I think Fraser Dark is the only one is like his favorite skin. And okay. then Hex. I'd say Hex uses the skin. Okay, so this is not surprising. But Young Link versus DK. You know, I'm kind of surprised how many uh, players out here are kind of repping their mains with their apparel. You know, I never thought about that, to be honest. Oh no, that's not a gimp. Unfortunately, Hex messed it up. He, he had. He did have an opportunity. Wow, he was actually ready for both hits of down air. That is not something you usually see. Usually, people will block like oh, the first hit yeah. of down air. Well, not happened. ready that time. But I'm so used to seeing people block the first hit of down air, and then it just bounced, and then down air just hit, comes back a second time and actually hits them, like, from them dropping shield and just hit them or whatnot. But. Well, weird option to go for there. Oh, I'm surprised. Is that going to take it? Uh, no, but it is. But Connie's is far enough away that he will not be able to recover, and X will be the one. Take the stage. What was he doing with the up special on grounded? I was kind of you know, expecting him to set up his projectiles or look for the up airs, but yeah, taking a risky option and getting punished for it for sure. Yeah, from, from playing colonies and like watching him play, Young Link feels like a character where like he wants to get setups going with bombs, fire arrows, boomerangs. Like mm -hmm. he wants to apply that projectile pressure and then just initiate his combos off those projectiles. So, yeah, definitely. Like Young Link. I feel just naturally wants to play like a heavy projectile game. Like, sure, you can play like a more close quarters game with him. He does have the frame data too. He does have the hitboxes too as well. But when you get in situations like these, where especially when you're playing a character like DK, who's like as heavy as he is, or just like any character in general, uh, like Young it. Link, I feel like one of Young Link's biggest biggest weaknesses is if he doesn't have setups, then he Young Link has a very hard time killing. Like DK's limited to 204. Right. I don't think that should be happening. <laughs> yeah. I you know, maybe Colonies should take the notes out of Link's book, go for those uh, down tilt kill confirms. I saw him, you know, just narrowly miss the uh, the bomb setup and the forward air earlier, so. You know, he's aware of it. He just seems scared. The spacing could also just be very difficult for there. Link, but they're going to kill. take it. <laughs> they will take it towards 50 percent. Oh, oh, but he reads the spot dodge with forward smash. Gross. Oh, that's disgusting. Hex, yep. Ooh, okay, Hex went for it all. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going bananas. I am surprised that he went oh, for the no. forward air. Oh, no. We're having this issue earlier today. Yeah. I hadn't seen it happen from watching the sets earlier, but right. I guess the Elgato is still being uh, a little screwy. I know it was happening a lot in doubles, but seeing it. Which is weird because I haven't seen it happen in any of the weekly, so like the fact that it happened in like a single match is weird. It's frustrating. But, yeah. It's th thankfully none of them lost their stock clicking. Right. Thankfully. But yeah, um. I think what's surprising me is like actually he's going for the spikes, he's going for border like he's not going for downer, and I'm I'm wondering, I'm trying to wonder why. Um I don't know. Maybe it's because like after the first time where he saw Ooh. I, I'm just, I just was thinking to myself that because I feel like Young Link would, or I'm sorry, DK would have an easier time landing downer in like those specific situations than like the forward air. Yeah, but it does have longer startup, so it is a little bit more difficult to kind of like place properly. But you will see Hex take game one, just actually colonies on his landing with up tilt. Yeah. Which is like, it's kind of like a scary thing when you're fighting Donkey Kong. You need to think about the fact, like, oh, right, DK's up tilt reaches behind him, too. Yeah. It's um, like, it's something you kind of have to be, like, ready for. There's a lot of characters that have the up tilts that pick up from behind now. Uh, very reminiscent of the Marcina stuff. But yeah, All right. Guess, uh, Where's Colony's gonna go? What's he gonna play? I don't know if he's gonna switch off Young Link, because it's. It's weird because I don't feel like he was playing bad, but at the same time, I could tell he was struggling to take stocks because, again, like Young Link, not only wants to get those setups mm -hmm. like off of bombs or fire arrows into into like forward air or like down air, because like I, I'm pretty sure down air has more knockback than up air, which is which to me is still weird. I don't know why it's weird to me because I'm pretty sure that was the thing with Link in Smash 4 too, where his down air is more knockback than up air, but. Um, I just feel like if Colonies couldn't get those setups, he just had a really hard time taking stocks. Like he could wreck, he could wreck the damage, and that was fine. But taking the stocks was his issue. Oh, we're going Ridley here. I do respect the decision because it, he maybe he does feel like the setups just weren't working out for him with Young Link. 
But yeah. besides, okay, let's go Ridley, who still has like still Ooh. has good range. Like Ridley still has very respectable range, especially on like in, like or to like neutral air like covers all around it, which is like which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Is this the new Godzilla matchup? Or does Bowser still get that? I'm sorry? Is this the new Godzilla matchup or does Bowser still get that title? I don't know. I, I that's a good question. Like Oh god, I'm trying to think which Godzilla monster would really be. I have to <laughs> think about that. Are you excited for the new? Is it, is it out yet? I know they're doing a new Godzilla with the Mothra. I think it's coming out this summer. Oh, I have no idea. But then Ooh. something. Okay, something I actually was thinking about with this matchup is like, who? Which character do you think would have like an easier time getting grabs, DK or Ridley? Because they both kind of want to. They both kind of want to get grabs to like start to get their combos and get their kill throws. Right. Like, good edge guard there from Colonies. Forward air being able to catch DK's upbeat recovery. And I, I want to say Ridley's tail doesn't have a hurt box. Kind of like how Mewtwo's did in Smash Four. Um, but that grounding, that grounding is. The grounding in this game is like. <laughs> it feels like it feels so difficult. It feels so difficult to get out of moves that round in this game. Woo! Man, All right, well you got the partner this time. <laughs> yeah, Hex is. He's got Colony's number. Yeah, I think Hex is going off a little bit after that one. <laughs> that was uh. Oh well, my God. He's going, going for it again. again. <laughs> uh, okay, he's really wanting the spikes out. Oh, but oh, but uh, we're not going almost. to see a stage spike from uh Colonies there on, with Ridley. Because I know that side B that catches a lot of people off guard. Like when they're not ready to like attack something like that. Like if you're not used to fighting Rithy, then the that's side. something that can like absolutely catch you off guard. Nice down tilt. There's oh, oh what? the side B armor. Oh, it was oh, Galaxy Brain. No. <laughs> what? Well, you saw Colonies go for it on the last setup, so I guess he just uh, you know expected it and.